section 10 talks about section 10 talks about stay of suit stay of suit what is stay of suit stay of suit is that suppose if a person who's asserting his rights has already asserted his rights in another court or maybe in the same court something is already pending on the same cause of action two parallel suits for the same cause of action against the same parties cannot run and if somebody comes to the court and says sir this cause of action is already pending before this court same court different court wherever so this suit will not go on this suit will be stayed under section 10 suit stays this is also called res sub judice res sub judice that means res means it's a latin term rents means litigation and sub judice means under judicial consideration so if the litigation is already under judicial consideration another same cause of action suit cannot come before the court because the reason is there can be conflicting judgments by two different courts and that will be a judicial impropriety so that cannot be allowed the same cause of action two different courts coming to two different conclusions there will be a different difficult situation and that is why it has been taken care of under section 10 rest sub judice is not allowed once the matter is rest sub judice another matter of the same cause of action against the same parties not allowed and therefore in every suit which you file every petition which you put put before the court you have to make a declaration a mandatory declaration that the plaintiff declares that there is no suit or cause of action or petition pending in any other court for the same subject matter against the same parties including before supreme court you have to make that declaration in every petition because your plaint has to be supported by an affidavit so you are affirming before the court on oath that there is no other matter sub judice under section 10 hmm? is that clear now another interesting section after that is section 11 and section 11 says now a follow up of section 10 section 10 prohibits res sub judice a follow up of section 10 is section 11 called res judicata res judicata means if a suit is already decided by any court on the same cause of action between the same parties then a second suit cannot be filed is that clear you're looking confused can I'm sorry can of course without your saying your face is saying so I shall I shall repeat more than once if you want subjudice you understood subjudice talks about a pending suit another suit cannot be filed res judicata says even if it is decided another suit for the same cause of action cannot be filed is it clear now so neither pending nor after decision you cannot file two suits for the same cause of action between the same parties 
even after a decision because otherwise no litigation will come to an end aapke khilaf judgment kiya aapne dusri baar fir file kar diya fir aap kya gaye kya fir file kar diya to wo to kabhi khatam hi nahi hogi nothing will reach to finality and that is why section 11 says there is a bar once it is decided you cannot file a fresh suit for the same cause of action between the same parties at the same level of court what at the best you can do is you can go in appeal you can go to the higher court challenging that judgment but you cannot file in the same level of the court is that clear any a doubt about anybody now res sub judice res sub judicata section 10 section 11 and you have already seen parties to the suit under order 1 frame of suit order 2 now who will represent you in the suit therefore order 3 says recognized agent or pleader recognized agent or pleader order 3 Now remember, we are in conjunction of Part One under Sections, read with Order One, Order Two, Order Three. Order Three talks about recognized agent or pleader who will be representing you in the court of law for that suit. Is that clear? So your parties are there, your framing is there. then comes the pleadings what are your pleadings what are your assertions how would you put your case before the court isn't it you want to put your case before the court and there straight away after all the three jump to order 6 pleadings generally those who have the book turn it to order 6 123 and then to 6 6 talk about pleadings generally the general rules how the pleadings will be put are given and it classifies that your claims should be numbered para number 1 para number 2 para number 3 it should be clearly written mentioned then pleadings generally guide you that what relief you are claiming should be mentioned what is your grievance should be mentioned against whom your grievance is there should be mentioned and the categorical description is called pleadings which is mentioned under order 6 so now our plaint is getting shape isn't it repeat after me who are the parties to suit under which order order 1 order 1 talks about parties to the suit order 2 frame of suit order 3 recognize agent and pleader and jump to order 6 Pleadings. pleadings generally now your pleadings are also in shape is it and then comes order 7 plaint so your plaint is getting ready order 7 is talking about plaint and as a plaintiff you are going to file your plaint in the court of law in accordance to the description of plaint given under section under order 7 okay so now sections 9 to 35a suits in general from part 1 of section side plus order 
order two, order three, order six, order seven is equal to your plaint. Isn't it? Mathematical calculation of CPC. Huh? You are adding? Are you Nishit bhi bethe hoi. Wow, wow, wow. Bandra hai notes roots ki nahi? Techno savvy hai photo kheech lege. Nishit, bana lo notes bita. Exam mein photo photo nahi chalne wali. Acha, acha, outsource kiya hai. Good. Ye sab cheeze mein seekh raha hoon aap logon se. Technically kaise sound hona hai, kaise outsource kar dena hai. Good, good, good. Exam bhi outsource mat karna. Varna degree bhi outsource ho jayegi. <laughs> so with this mathematical calculations of the plaint, repeat after me all this. Sections 9 to 35A. Plus. Is equal to? Plaint. प्लेंट बन गया हमारा चला रब दिस अभी प्लेंट रेडी होने के बाद यू हैव टू फाइल इट इन द कोर्ट इज इट Therefore, once this plaint is ready, first formula is ready, then come section 26. Again, from 1 to 35, AK beach mein hai sab abhi kaani. Hmm? Plaint ban raha hai, file hone wala hai, court mein pahunch raha hai. To section 26. Plus section twenty six plus order four. Section twenty six plus order four. Institution of suit. You have to institute suit in the court of law. Abito plaint banatha. अब हम उसको फाइलिंग करने जा रहे हैं कोर्ट में कहानी इंटरेस्टिंग लग रही है सीपीसी आपको ऐसे पढ़नी है इफ यू जस्ट कीप गोइंग बाय सेक्शन एंड रूल्स एंड ऑर्डर्स एवरीथिंग विल फिजल आउट इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू मेक सेंस सो ऑर्डर फॉर रेड विथ सेक्शन 26 इंस्टीट्यूट द सूट Is it clear? Now, suit has been filed before the court. And once the suit has been instituted, it will be numbered, it will be given the classification, all that you will find under order 4. Yes. 